Hi, welcome to our Cloudian Scale-Out Storage for Data Protection demo. My name is Dominic Chia. We'll go through quick demos of Cloudian use as backup repositories for your data protection solutions, for archiving, and also for user home directories in your data center. As you can see in my environment, we have Convolt Comserve, the Convolt Media Agent, and my clients, along with my Cloudian on-premise solution. Let's just go to our demo real quick in terms of how we actually have this working. So as you can see right now, we're logging into our Cloudian management interface. As the administrator, I'm able to look at my setup, which is currently has a 13% use rate and 87% of free capacity. So you can see here we have SoCal, Las Vegas, and NorCal. So we actually have six node cluster actually deployed in three regions. You can see actually there's a alert here. So let's just click a, and take a look and see what we have in terms of our alerts. So we do see that in terms of this particular setup, there is some repairs being done. So this is pretty cool because we have repairs on reads. So we'll just click this, highlight it, acknowledge, and we're done. Okay, no more. We'll go back to our cluster and it's green. So this, this is how we have our environment set up. There's three regions in this six node cluster. So we'll go into our combo environment and see how we actually have our environment set up. Expand this real quick. As you can see right now, you're looking at the uh, Convault Expert Storage Configuration. We'll take a look and see what we actually have it set up as. We'll look at our media agent. We'll click on it. And we'll go to our shared disk device. We'll do a property check. We have our service host, which actually is pointing to our endpoint. The access key, the secret key, and then the bucket, which is the Convault bucket. So now we'll just go and look at our jobs here that we have. Let's just kick off one real quick job here and see how it all runs, right? We'll do a backup, we'll do an incremental. So this particular job is already running. It's, writing, it's gonna be writing to a Commvault um, created storage, which is the um, Cloudian S3 storage. Let's take a look at additional histories for other backup jobs, as you can see here. This particular job, backups, we'll expand that a little bit. We have our synthetics, backups, our incremental as well on the uh, job types. So you can see here as well the job types for this particular backup. It's scale out storage that works well with Convault because Convault is also software defined and it also supports Amazon S3 cloud storage solutions. The next thing that we also want to look at is cloud storage solutions such as Cloudian for solutions such as Veeam, right? How does it actually work as well? So Cloudian has just come out with what we call the Cloudian Hyperstore Connect for Files. Uh, if you can see in this particular setup, what we have is a Veeam supported hypervisor, which is either VMware or Hyper-V. In this particular demo, we will have it as VMware. And then the Veeam backup and repository server the Cloudian Hyperstore Connect for Files gateway, which is NFS mounted as a Veeam backup repository, and our Cloudian Hyperstore Connect for Files for NFS, that's referring a Cloudian Hyperstore S3 bucket. All of this is connected through a 10 gig network connection. What you're looking at is some of the backups that's been done through Veeam. Let's just take a look and see some of these successful backups. For example, this one here that we have. So we did backup of two virtual machines. The processing rate was about 124 megabytes per second, which is pretty good. Two backups of two VMs, about 200 plus gigs. Right? You can see a VM size, particular one. So we've already run some backup, but how does it look like in terms of the infrastructure itself from the repository, right? So let's just take a look at our backup repository here, the Cloudian Hyperstore Connect for Files. This is our guy here that we actually configured. We'll do a properties check. And we'll see that this is our server that is the Hyperstore Connect for Files, this 10.10.0.135. And our repository is actually one of the uh, SMB path that's pre presented to Veeam from the gateway, which is S3 slash Veeam bucket. Let's just see what happens and how fast it is to publish a virtual machine that was backed up to a scale-out repository on a cloud storage. Let 
go to our backup and replication, go back to our disk, look for this particular backup job. Let's just say we'll choose the Win Client 2. We'll select Instant VM Recovery, restore to a new location. Right, it's loading the VM data itself. We'll wait for it to retrieve the configuration information. We have that. Now we'll call it Restore as a different guy. We'll redirect the virtual disk updates. We'll choose a different data store because we just want to show a quick demo of how fast we can publish the virtual machine. So we're going to say Instant Recovery of a VM from Claudian Hyperstore via Hyperstore Connect Profile. Right, we'll power on the VM, but we'll not connect it to the network because we don't want it to be connected. Partially it's because we already have something that's the original virtual machine running in that state on that particular setup. So we're looking at how the virtual machine is starting up right now. It's going to take a little bit of time to get it published. So let's see how, how long does it take. It's publishing a virtual machine that's actually about 200 gigs in size. It's locking the backup file, which is already completed. So right now it's doing the publishing of the VM. There we go, registering the virtual machine is online, win client 2 underscore 3. And that's our virtual machine that's actually being created. That's how fast we can actually publish the virtual machine from a backup to a cloud storage via our hyperstore connector files. The VM is already created, right? So that's pretty fast in terms of getting the virtual machine up and running from the backup. I will cancel this. And we will just kill that particular instant recovery session because we do not need it to be running anymore. So what are the other use cases for Cloudin Hyperstore in your environment? So you can actually use it for backups, you can use it for archiving, and you can also use it for your home directories for any of your SMB or NFS users. For example, let's just say we log on right now to one of the Win Windows clients. This is owned by Brent Hu. So what we've actually done is we created a home directory for Brent Hu so that he can actually put files that he's using or he wants to archive or put away for long-term storage rather than putting it on the virtual machine desktop that we created for him. So for example, he's going to the E drive and just find some files that he wants to offload off to the particular, we'll copy that particular file and we're going to offload it to the Hyperstore Connect for Files gateway uh, path that we created for him. We'll load it up here, and it's actually loading the files that's being copied over to the Cloud Hyperstore bucket. So we'll also show real quick in terms of that particular path itself, because this is probably what I forgot to show you guys. It's how is it actually set up via the Hyperstore Connect for Files. So we're looking at the Hyperstore Connect for Files win, uh, UI here. When we go into the Hyperstore Connect for Files, Cloud collections, we can actually see the, SN3, the S3 SMB share name and the NFS mount point. So let's just highlight that particular and we do an edit. And you can see this particular one is saying that, hey, we'll be using HCF bucket 4 as our storage location for our NFS and SMB uh, connections. So there you have it in terms of what we have as a solution. Let's just do a real quick recap of what we actually provide as a Cloudian solution. So Cloudian solution for scale storage is very easy to deploy. It's an open standards based approach, meaning that we are S3 compatible, we are S3 native. We guarantee in terms of anything that you want to do on Amazon, you can also S3, you can also do it on our storage as well. And not only that, we do allow you to tier your storage, your own on-premise storage. If you need to onto a cloud storage such as Amazon's own S3 solution or Amazon's Glacier solution. Highly durable cloud storage solution. So what we mean by that is because there's multi-nodes, multi-node setup in terms of a cluster, no single node will be a single point of failure, right? So this is a highly available, highly always on solution, cloud storage solution. So you can also have a scale-out file server now because we have the Hyperstore Connect for Files, which is we call as the HCF, that gives you the capability to allow any home any person within an 
local data center to connect to a cloud storage solution using NFS or SMB. It's also multi-tenant and multi-region support as well. We provide end-to-end -end data security, so that way that if you have data that's coming in flight and data at rest, be assured that it's also AES-256 encryption enabled if you want it to. And then there's intelligence in storage. You also saw in terms of the analytics that's capable on the Cloudian solution. And remember one thing too, deploying your own cloud storage solution on-premise is also cheaper with uh, Cloudian solution, uh, storage because you can lower your TCO, your total cost of ownership to about one cent per gigabyte per month. So for more information, we would like you to visit cloudian.com or if you want to see more demos and more videos and stuff like that, you can visit our channel, it's Cloudian Videos. And also if you need to get access to a Cloudian Hyperstore solution, Community Edition is also available to you for downloads. All you have to do is go to our site, http cloudian.com slash free dash trial.